Rome is a treasure trove of history, culture, and charm. Whether you're a history buff, a foodie, or simply seeking a romantic getaway, Rome has something for everyone. From exploring ancient ruins to savoring authentic Italian cuisine, here are the top 10 things to do in Rome that will make your visit unforgettable. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get regular updates. Let's get started. Number 10. Check out Palatine Hill Situated among the seven hills of Rome is a place with deep mythological significance. It's where Rome's legendary founders, Romulus and Remus, were said to be born. Take a stroll through this area and delve into its history by exploring the remnants of ancient walls and monuments. As you wander, don't forget to look up and admire the stunning view of Rome from the summit of the hill. It's an incredible opportunity to immerse yourself in the city's vibrant past and appreciate its timeless beauty. Number 9. Discover the Ruins of Torre Argentina Torre Argentina is an interesting place to visit for people who are interested in both history and animals. There are ruins at the site that date back to 400 BC. More recently, historians have found that it is likely where Julius Caesar was stabbed, which gives the place a creepy historical feel. Surprisingly, Torre Argentina is not only a historical site, it is also a safe place for cats. More than 200 cats live here, and volunteers work hard to take care of them. Exploring the ruins, learning about ancient history, and interacting with the cats that live there can be a one-of-a-kind experience for visitors. It's the perfect mix of history and furry friends for visitors who want an interesting and memorable trip. Number 8. Visit the Colosseum The Colosseum is a must-visit attraction in Rome, especially if you have just one day to explore the city. As one of the most famous places in Italy and recognized as one of the seven wonders of the world, the Colosseum holds a significant place in history. Constructed between 70 and 80 AD, it remains the largest amphitheater ever built. In ancient times, during the early Middle Ages, the Colosseum hosted gladiator fights, theater performances, and various entertainment events. Even today, the impressive ruins of the Colosseum serve as a testament to the wealth, power, and enduring impact of ancient Rome. It's a must-see site that offers a glimpse into the grandeur of the past and is an essential starting point for your exploration of the city. Number 7. Savor Genuine Italian Gelato When you're out exploring on a hot day, there's nothing quite like treating yourself to a scoop or two of delicious creamy Italian gelato. It's like a sweet burst of joy that can energize you for more adventures. One spot you shouldn't miss in Rome is Giolitti which is probably the most famous gelateria in the city. Its story goes way back to the 1980s when the Giolitti family opened their first creamery. You can still visit their original store located at Vea del Vicario, close to the Pantheon. At Giolitti, you can indulge in a variety of unique flavors that will tickle your taste buds. Imagine savoring flavors like champagne and meringue, which are just some of the delightful options they offer. It's a tasty way to experience a piece of Italian history and refresh yourself during your sightseeing adventures. Number 6. Watch the sunset from Pynchon Hill To see something truly amazing, you should climb to the top of Pynchon Hill. One of the most beautiful views of Rome will be waiting for you there. The view of the sun going down over the Eternal City is one that you will never forget. Remember that this spot is famous for having amazing views of the sunset, so getting there early is the best way to get a great spot. Believe me, the beautiful view from above of Piazza del Popolo lit up the golden light with domes, roofs, and towers in the background that will make you never want to leave. Without a doubt, this moment will stay with you forever. Number 5. Spend some time on the Spanish Steps Make sure to include this next destination while you are in Rome. As it stands out as one of the city's most popular and photographed spots, the Spanish Steps, constructed between 1723 and 1725, are located right beside the Trinita de Monte Church. Despite appearing as typical steps, they boast a captivating design that has served an inspiration for numerous artists, painters, and poets over the years. Presently, the top of these steps provide an ideal setting to unwind and enjoy a stunning view of Rome, given that entry is free for everyone. The area tends to get quite crowded in the afternoon for a more peaceful experience and the opportunity to capture photos with fewer people. Consider visiting early in the morning. Number 4. Step Inside the Basilica of St. John Lateran Rome is filled with amazing churches, and it's hard to get tired of looking at them. One of our favorites is the beautiful Basilica of St. John Lateran, also known as the Basilica of San Giovanni in Lateran. 
The original building was constructed between 311 to 314 AD and was once the residence of popes. Today, you can admire the impressive white facade of the building. Inside, there are stunning mosaics and even a fresco by the Renaissance artist Giotto. The basilica also houses impressive relics, including a fragment of the table from Jesus' Last Supper. Surprisingly, there is also what the faithful believe to be a trace of his blood. It's a place filled with history and breathtaking art that captivates visitors. Number 3. Dine at a Traditional Roman Trattoria When it comes to winning Rome's heart, they say the path is through your stomach. Experiencing Italian food right in its home country is incomparable. The joy of savoring it outdoors amidst the lively hustle of Rome is truly memorable. To truly relish the essence of Italian dining, it's recommended to steer clear of the usual tourist spots and opt for an authentic Roman restaurant. One such gem is the welcoming trattoria, Settimio Alaranzio, discreetly located on a quiet side street not too far from the Trevi Fountain. At Settimio Alaranzio, you're treated to outstanding pasta and seafood. The cherry on top is the impressive wine selection that make any enthusiast drool. This spot embodies everything you could desire from a dining experience in Italy, a perfect blend of delicious cuisine, local authenticity, and a delightful ambience. Number 2. Throw a coin into Trevi Fountain The Trevi Fountain stands as one of Italy's most renowned landmarks and is recognized as the most famous fountain in all of Europe. This remarkable Baroque masterpiece was crafted by Nicola Salvi, who envisioned creating a dramatic fountain at the convergence of three streets. The fountain derives its name from the Italian phrase Trevi, which translates to three streets. Visiting the Trevi Fountain is an admission-free experience, and its central location makes it likely for you to come across it multiple times. Revealing new aspects with each encounter, the fountain is particularly enchanting in the early morning offering a chance for solitude, as well as during sunset or at night when it is beautifully illuminated. Legend has it that tossing a coin over your left shoulder into the Trevi Fountain ensures your return to the Eternal City one day. Number 1. Explore the historic Castel San Angelo A short distance from the Vatican, you'll discover Castel San Angelo, also known as the Mausoleum of Hadrian or Hadrian's Tomb. Originally built to serve as the final resting place for the Roman Emperor Hadrian and his family, the castell later transformed into a fortress with a prison and now stands as a museum. The urns containing ashes were placed in the treasury room deep within Castel St. Angelo. To approach the castle in a scenic manner, crossing Ponte Sant Angelo is recommended, where you can appreciate marble angel statues crafted by the renowned Italian sculptor Bernini. That's all for now. I hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to like and share the video and follow us for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.